How many times have you been excited to open an Ableton Live file and session and dig in only to discover that you get this cryptic message down at the bottom of your screen saying media files are missing? Hey, this is Will Doggett, Ableton Live Certified Trainer, founder of From Studio to Stage. Today, I wanna to talk about how to deal with missing files. This is something that we all deal with. It happens uh, often and constantly. So I wanna show you how to deal with it and then two, how to prevent it from ever happening again. So let's get started. So first, let's talk about why this happens in the first place. Now, you're, if, when you're working on an Ableton Live project, odds are very high you're just dragging samples and files to load into your set to either create a song or create a set for live performance. And you're not really thinking about where those samples are coming from, but odds are high that you're pulling from your desktop, from your documents folder, from an external hard drive, uh, maybe even a folder like Dropbox or somewhere that's stored on the web. When you load those in Ableton Live, they work great, they work perfect. We go to save your file and then move on and you realize that the samples are not included in that folder because they're staying where they are. The way I always like to explain this is imagine I have this marker, I ask you to take a picture of the marker, you walk out, you leave the room, you look at your phone, do you have the marker? No, you have a image of the marker, you have a reference of the marker on your phone, you don't actually have the marker. But if I were to say, okay, let's take this marker, let's magically duplicate it to where I have a copy and you have a copy, and then you walk out of the room, you're holding the marker, you now have a duplicate of the file. That's what Live's uh, collect all and save command does. Now what I've done is I've linked to a tutorial below called how to properly share and save Ableton Live files. Uh, a previous tutorial we did where I show you how to use collect all and save. It's super easy to go up to the file menu, hit collect all and save, and that's gonna take all those samples that are located all across your hard drive, uh, in your Dropbox folder, your desktop documents, and gonna bring them into your live project folder so that they're all referenced together. Now, if you do that, you'll never have this problem ever again. So check out that tutorial below. Even maybe press pause on this. Go watch that tutorial below to learn how to use Collect All and Save to properly share, uh, save and share your Ableton Live files. Now, what do you do though when that doesn't happen? What do you do when you know that that's what you're supposed to do, but you get in a hurry? This has happened to me. I've gone to step into a class to teach people how to do this properly and realize I had media files missing. So I want to walk through how to solve this problem, how to use Live's file manager to find your missing files and replace them in your set. So I decided to sacrifice one of my own files uh, to show you how to do this. And what I did essentially is just move the samples folder out of the Live project folder so that I get this same error message, scary error message that we all receive that says media files are missing. Please click here to learn more. So whenever you see this, what you want to do is click that, uh, that message to open up what's called the file manager in Ableton Live. Now, odds are probably high that you know where those samples are from, or you have a good idea that most of your samples are stored on your external hard drive. If you are using an external hard drive, go grab that drive, plug it in, maybe close your live set down, open it back up. Odds are high the problem may solve itself again. If Live can suddenly sense and find the folder that it was looking for, um, then you won't see this message again. And in that case, just use collect all and save, bring them all together, you're good. But in my case, I've got everything connected. Live still can't find the folder. Uh, it's looking in the original location where expected it to be. It can't find it. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to click the arrow to the left of this automatic search option. And then what I want to do is do set folder. And it says drop custom folder here, or I can hit set folder. And I want to find wherever I think, or my best guess as to where I think those samples are. So I'm going to click this desktop folder, hit open. Um, it's enabled search folder. I could also enable to search the project or search the library. I would encourage you to leave search uh, library disabled unless it's a, um, a sample that's included with Ableton Live because it's going to search your entire library and might take a little bit. So now I've got automatic search kind of ready to go. I'm going to hit go. And what Live is going to do is it's going to search through that custom folder that I set. And if I'm lucky, I get this message. It says 94 new candidates were found. 94 missing files were replaced automatically. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go up to do file. Uh, collect all and save, which again, we talked about in the tutorial that I linked below, hit OK, and that's gonna go find all those files across my computer, bring them back into one place, into one live project folder so that they're saved uh, in the same place. 
Now, sometimes even though you do the automatic search, you still may not find the missing files. Now, in that case, what you could do is click the magnifying glass next to that, and then you could go through and preview the different samples, again, that live guesses or thinks that it may be. And then if you double click uh, and you're basically saying, hey, Ableton, this is the file that uh, I think this is, then it's going to say your set project still has missing files, which means the other ones, the three other that are in this list are still missing. And the live is going to say, should we try to resolve all missing files based on where we found those previous files? You could click yes, it's going to search, and it may do this and say no new candidates are found. In that case, you just go through to your other files, click through, uh, listen to those and go, yep, this is the correct one. Uh, you can hit OK, and then it's going to go through and eventually replace all those files. So I'm just going to do this for all of these. I'm going to hit no because I know where the other ones are. And let's do our final one here, and we'll double click. And then now you see all four of those files have been located. I told Ableton, yeah, this is the correct file. And you look over here at location, it says it's now in the current project. So again, final step here for me is I'm going to go up to file to collect all and save, and then save my live set one more time. Now to avoid getting that missing files message, make sure to check out the tutorial below again where I talk about how to save and share Ableton Live files properly using Collect All and Save. But if you find yourself in the situation where files are missing, walk through those steps, use automatic search, or then manually tell Ableton where those files are so that you can replace them. Use Collect All and Save, hit save, and you'll be good to go. Now if you want to learn more about the essentials of using Ableton Live, then head to fromstudiosage.com slash essentials, where I put together a collection of a couple courses where we really dig deep and focus on the essentials of Ableton Live that helps you get up and running with Ableton Live quickly, efficiently, and create something that's stable that you can use on stage to perform with. So if you want to learn more about the essentials, head to fromstudiosage.com slash essentials. You'll see all those courses and you can start a seven day free trial um, where you can get access to not just those courses, but every single course in the catalog and much, much more. Now, make sure to stay tuned to next week where we talk about our final Ableton Live Essentials tip uh, and getting up and running with Ableton Live. So I hope to see you there. Uh, have a great week. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thank you.